Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa, I run a creative business from home and today I'm going to give you a little tour of one of my desks. I have two desks in my studio. My studio is set up in my home, so it's really, really easy. I've had this room now since, oh, I don't know, about 2003, 2004. That's when I first started up my, my very first business and it's just always been so nice with having kids to be able to work from home and um, it's just like my little happy place. I love this room so much. This is my, I call it my planning desk, but it's basically not my admin, my working desk. That's behind me, you can just see my monitor behind, and that's where I have like my monitor set up and where I actually do my admin work. Um, this is more like say my creative desk. This is where I do my planning, where I do anything creative, and I really love this little area, it's really pretty and I just thought I would show you around today. I really hope you enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up if you do and please do subscribe to my channel if you don't already and let me know, I'd love to know if you have a creative area at home too, do you have whether it be a home office, do you have a craft room, a studio, let me know if you have a space that's dedicated to your creating as well. So this is the desk that I'm going to show you around today. I do really really love this space. It is a an Alex desk, a white Alex, I think they're called the Alex desks, um, and the top comes free which I really like so you can then change up the bases. So I've got drawers this side, I've got a cupboard the other side. I bought it off a friend when she moved to the States and I would highly recommend this desk. It's such a lovely deep desk which works really, really well, especially when you're a scrapbooker or you like making things as you have lots of space. I think I will start at the top and show you around what I've got here. So these tiered stands, I get asked about these a lot. They were originally from um, Cargo, which has since gone under, but you can find similar kind of tiered stands in Next and also on Amazon. I keep some of my washi here. I used to have these little pegs up here, they've fallen down, and it was an extra way to store the washi tape, which I quite liked. Um, I've got some washi on here, on the little book rings, and also some binder clips. Um, let's pop these up here. I've got some smaller punches up here. Just tidying these up as I go along. Oh, I've just noticed my little planner here. I forgot all about that. I've got smaller punches in here and smaller punches in here as well. Quite a few of these. I love my corner punch. I use this one probably the most. And then I like to have everything organised in pots. I've got some of my ink pads there stacked at the back. I have one pot with scissors and rulers. I have another pot with my uni ball pens that I love. Another pot with pencils and my daughter did that at a pottery class. And this one are just various pens, got blades, files, all kinds of odds and ends. And my son bought me that at um, a school event once when he was, I think, five, something like that. And then this one, again, is bits and pieces. I've got hand sanitizer. I always clean my hands after opening my post, so I always open my post up here. Again, just odd bits and pieces. And then in this basket, I've got more ink, ink um, pads. These little ones, I used to love these from Prima. And then these are Brusho and various other bits. I always forget to look in here actually. Look, I've got sequins and I need to go through and have a reminder of what I've actually got. I like this little area and it functions really, really well for me. At the top here I have a little basket and this is like a sewing basket. I've got my paper piercer and some of my favourite threads that I use the most. A little um, pin cushion and my thick needles as well as I do love to sew on paper. I've got some favourite little quotes here. I made that one myself and this is just an embroidery hoop that I've added some fabric to and a friend, my lovely friend Steph in Chattanooga sent me that postcard. Going over to this area, I've just got a couple of baskets. These are some of my most favourite 
um, larger punches that I use the most. Same here. I've also got the circle cutter that I use a lot. And then I keep my um, big bite here, my hole punch. That slides in there really nicely. And I've got a little glass dish here that I bought in a um, charity shop. And these are just bits and pieces that friends have sent me that I like to keep. I like having bits from friends. These are from like Coco Daisy Swaps. Oh, I made these. I'd forgotten about those. I like having things from friends. I added this quote here. You can pause it here and read if you want. I thought this was really cool. Then we move on to planners. I've got my recipe planner. And if you've been watching my videos, I need to add these two actually. I add to it sometimes. I need to add more. But I've got quite a few videos where you will see me adding recipes to this. I forgot all about this planner as well. Um, I started creating in this planner like a daily memory keeping and I forgot all about it. I should use it again. It's a really nice planner. I've got twine in these two buckets. A piece of art there from my friend Denise. And then Holly and I went to an anthropology craft class and we made these pots and they gave us the little cacti and she popped that one there as well. I love that quote there. She believed she could so she did. And down here, this was a gift from Christine from Coco Daisy many, many years ago when I used to work for them. And I've kept it there to hold some of my little stamps. I thought that was really cute. My mum bought me this tea stand many years ago. Um, I'm not really a jewellery person at all. I never change my jewellery. So I just use it for crafty bits. I've got an old pickle jar for planner clips. And then these are just some of my favourite pens that I like using. Normal everyday pens. And then I've got more kind of like highlighters and other bits and pieces in there in a little bucket. My lovely friend Jennifer from Happy Scatter made me that coaster. And my friend Lisa sent me that. And then I've also got a few other little trays with just bits and pieces, die cuts, clips, that kind of thing. Um, I've got some small personal size planners here. I don't really use them too much. I have one for my finances, another for Christmas planning, and then I have another for when my dad comes and visits from the States and I plan his time when he comes over. And this little mini one is my um, travel planner. I always take this away with me when we travel and I can then just like, I document our food, our food budget, how much we spend, and I always keep track as well of um, my blog schedule, my Facebook schedule, um, my blog and my YouTube schedule too. Running my own business, I do have to work unfortunately every time I go away. These are a couple of postcards from Coco Daisy that I framed. This has been so helpful. I got sent the adapter uh, quite a long time ago, probably about 18 months, two years ago, something like that, from a seller on Amazon to review and to leave a review for. It's amazing. I use it every single day. Well, I've got my lamp plugged into it anyway, but because I'm always filming videos, it's so handy being able to plug extra lights in. I use it for my hot glue gun. I use it for my heat gun. I use it every single day. And what I like about it, it looks quite pretty there. Um, rather than a big ugly extension lead. It's also got the USB chargers in there as well so I can charge my phone and that kind of thing. But I do have it in my Amazon store now and I'll link it up below for you because I know lots of people have asked about that as well. So that has pretty much covered what's on my desk. I do also have a yellow lamp there which is a really cheapy one from Wilkinson's and I think it was something silly like three pounds. I've got three of them in my studio. When I start work in the mornings at half past five, I always come in here and I only put the three lamps on. Um, it just always feels, because my lights are very, very bright in here, it just feels a bit too shocking almost to put the lights on full when I start work first thing in the morning. Right, you ready for a tour of my drawers now? So we've got these drawers. I love these drawer separators. I bought these on, like, in, on eBay ages ago. I won't link them up because the sellers change all the time and sometimes they look expensive, sometimes they're found cheaper. Just look for store organize, um, drawer organization and you will find lots of different ones here. Um, I've got another one at the back and I've got pins, elastic bands and clips. And then in here I keep things like my staples, my chalks. I've got my little tape runners, tape dispensers. I've also got um, pencil sharpeners, 
I've got, I think this came out of a cracker. <laughs> it's a really good little tape measure. I've got, this was, I think my mum's tape measure from when I was a child. I love that there. And then I've also got Tipex rollers as well. I've got tape, chalk, um, a rubber there. Actually, let's remove that. We don't need that anymore. Tissues, um, post-its. I've got um, a creaser there as well. I don't know why I've got a pairs in there. And I've got one of Holly's first pairs of teeny, teeny glasses in there as well. I haven't actually gone through any of these before I've opened them, um, but they stay reasonably tidy. Um, I might actually put those up for the kids. The stocking fillers, I haven't opened those. Um, and these are, as you can see, pens um pencils it's a bit of a messy drawer i don't tend to use this drawer apart from for my um highlighters but um i have quite a lot here as you can see but this is definitely a pen drawer i think it maybe needs i need to go through this really i think this is maybe a bit of wasted space this next drawer is mostly notepads i bought this divider here from tk maxx a long time ago I've got my A5 punch in here, which I don't tend to use, to be honest, because I use my other hole punch mostly and do them individually. Extra tape here, which is ideal when Ada and I are gift wrapping at Christmas. We have one each. And then I've just got loads and loads of cute notepads. And I use different ones depending on what mood I'm in. This next drawer is candles. Oh, I should take this one out. It's a pumpkin one and tester pots for paint which again i always forget that i've got but they're really handy um, for like craft projects i used to buy these all the time years ago they're all really old now um, but yes this is just candles and tester pots and this next drawer is adhesive so i've got loads of different types of double-sided sticky tape i've got rolls i've got the ones for my atg gun i've got um, 3m hooks I use the tissue paper there to block projects when I'm creating. I've got that really cute washi tape, blue tack, glue gun, water spray for when I'm doing watercolours. These ones belong over there. I've got clear tape and then I've also got 3D foam pads and I have a whole roll of sticky notes. I bought this little chair from eBay. It was only about 30, 40 pounds. It's really comfy for me, but anyone bigger does struggle a little bit. I know that Aid really squeezes into it, so it's not overly comfortable for normal sized people. And then underneath, I keep my Royal Mail sacks and most of my packaging. I've got all my bubble wrap and things like that. I do re reuse it all, so it's all none of it's bought new. It's just what I get in my parcels, and then I reuse it. And I've also got a large extension lead down there, which I sometimes use too. And in the boxes, I've shared this before, um, when my grandparents passed um, a few years ago, I took all the family photos. So I've always got them under my desk. So if anyone needs a copy, a scan or anything like that, I know exactly where they are. And finally, I have this cupboard here, and this is where I keep all my large punches that I don't use so often. I've also got this really cute little bag. Aid bought me this a long time ago, and it's got all my sewing in there. And then down here, I keep all my papers, printing papers, A4, cardstock, and I've got some large foam stamp sets here as well, and I've got other stamp sets at the back. So that's a tour of my desk. I really hope you've enjoyed looking around. I know I really enjoy watching other people's desk tours, so I hope you've enjoyed this one as well. And I will do an, a desk tour of my main desk sometime as well. Let me know if you've got any questions or anything like that, and let me know what do you have on your desk. Um, I'd love to know. And let me know about your craft space as well. Do you have a dedicated craft space? Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday with a new vlog. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.